What's up, this your boy Buck, and welcome back to the channel, man. Today we are at Aquatic Environments where we get all our saltwater stuff from. We're gonna be going in here because I need to pick up some more water, and we also gonna look at some corals, and we're gonna look at some freshwater fish too, so stay tuned, about to be a pretty cool video. Right now, we're currently at Aquatic Environments in Davenport, Iowa. This is where I get all my coral, all my saltwater stuff. And you can see they have some really awesome corals in here. Tons of beautiful saltwater fish. See all these beautiful corals out here, son? They look really good. Look at some of the fish that they have in here, guys. Beautiful fish. A little hippo tang down here. Oh. Yeah, they have some really awesome fish in here, man. Look at these clowns right here. Oh my God, look at that. But today, I just wanted to look at some of the saltwater fish, man. I was looking at, look at that puffer fish. He's kind of skinny though, but look at him. Super awesome puffer. We got to pick something out. With the, uh, yeah, that one's super awesome. I like that color. Are they for sale? Yeah, everything is for sale. I might get that one right there, actually, that one that's in the back. You really can't see. Let me get the glasses. You guys can see how they look. Come on. Super cool, huh? But yeah, so I'm gonna look at some of these uh, inexpensive corals like these ones they got out here for like 10 bucks. Um, Cause I'm not really in the market to spend a whole bunch of money on coral, but they do have some really expensive stuff. Like if you wanted to get into the high end stuff, um, they really do got some really good expensive corals. If you're into that type of stuff, and me, I'm learning, um, so I'm only gonna get stuff that is pretty inexpensive. I'm liking these yellow ones right there because I want some more stuff that's going to pop in the aquarium. I think we got some stuff like we got some stuff like that, but we need to get some different stuff today, man. So. Let's do some more looking around. They also had some pretty cool uh, shrimps and things. That's what I was looking at. I really want to get one of these shrimps. Or look at that little guy right there. If you local in the Quad City area, man, make sure you come out here to Aquatic Environments. The owner right here, Adam, How you, guys you know doing? what I'm saying? He the goat, you know what I'm saying? So come out here and spend your money. Buy, yep. uh, buy tons <laughs> of coral. <laughs> we got a lot of coral in stock. They also got um, some more. Oh, look at this, right? Look at this baby um, Panther Gooper right here. That's a predator. Awesome panther grouper. I wish the camera can pick up how good these fish look. Oh my God, look at that. That red John right there. He is awesome. They even got this little awesome puffer fish right here too. Dude, we gotta get an axolotl. We have to. They're all over YouTube. I know, right? They also do reptiles in here, so they have tons of reptiles. What is that, bro? He just let that thing crawl over you, bro. <laughs> uh, beautiful, though. That's awesome. Look at that guy right here. Beautiful fish. What is this right here, boss? That one's a queen angel. We're gonna go ahead and get one of these cleaner shrimps right here. We're gonna bring a lot of life to the aquarium. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up candy cane one right there, and then I'm thinking about getting that red scallop back there, and we might end up getting that other one. Where we're we gonna see, but that's what I'm looking at right now. Now we back at the crib, and we finally got our stuff that we got from the stove. Man, you gonna, who gonna do the honors, man? Open it up, man. So these folks, what we got? Uh -huh. Yeah, we picked up some little corals. Y'all gonna be able to see it more once we get into the crib. Little aquarium. candy cane. Yeah. A little candy cane. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what that is right there? That's, that's a, a cleaner shrimp, man. Cleaner shrimp. Awesome. Eat parasites and stuff, man. He get on your fish, okay. or he get on your hand. You put your hand in, yeah. and eat parasites, or eat dead skin off your hand, or your feet, whatever. Now what's that? You got some zoas in there. Oh yeah, zoa. It's like a, it was like a blue zoa. I know, I'm like we had that blue the green one. Ring. We had the reddish one. We got, got that little, little blue. Ring on it. What's that? Crabs? Oh yeah, I did get some more crabs. Okay. I want a little more life with the crab action in there. Okay. So what are we gonna do first? Man, we just gonna throw the crabs in there first, man. You know what I'm saying? It's ready. <laughs> it's ready. Eat them, though. 
good hermit crabs. I need air climbers. Oh, we definitely gonna get some. Fish ready to tear them up. They thinking it's food. All right, what we got next here? That's the. This the shrimp, bro. All right. That's a shrimp right there, bro. bro. You look nice. You finna pick him by his hand? Emma. See how he cleaning me? Look at him. He's stuck. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. bro. That look cold. <laughs> Oh, he back there straight on the wall. And he, he, he ain't gonna climb out, is he? No, he ain't gonna climb out. He know he's vulnerable if he get up out of that. Look at the clowns, they super interested in him. Tell people what we doing here. I'm just gonna uh, cut the bottom of the spray plug off. Okay. It's best when you have the pestle though, unless you got a saw, but you know, I always have to cut my frag plug off. Woo! Glue only get hard on salt water. Salt water glue. That's that salt water glue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what you were telling me, Grandpa. Uh, yeah, you can use. Where it. we gonna put it at, man? Where you want it at? Uh, man? Where let's you want listen. Then not on the top, cause we gonna get some more stuff for the tops. Yeah, that's a good spot. How do you want it? Let's do. Open All right, let's move these two though. Okay. If I can get them off. I was about to say, dude, okay. just come right off. You got to re-glue it, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to re-glue it right now. Using Ross's right here, man. Bob Marley. Rasta. Rasta. Rasta party. I'm going to put them right there. Up front. Up front and center, huh? Front and center, cause them boys right there be popping. Yeah, I likes that. I likes that look. We gotta get more coral now. That's my slogan. Like once man. you once you get these little pieces, you be like, oh, but now I can put one here, here, yeah. here, here. You see all the placements you got, you be like, man, I can do a lot. What? I'm just looking at you. Can even stick one like right there in that front part. Yeah, sure. This whole little bottle rock. I like how that rock is turning green right here too. That look dope to me. See that uh, crab or that snail? He's starting to get what's that algae growing on him? Mm -hmm. That look dope. Yeah, that, that's gonna look fire. You should drop him like by these other green ones. Like on the bottom, kind of where that You want him on the bottom? Yeah, cause we gonna do more. I wanna leave, you know what I'm saying? All right, we can do him on the bottom. I want him on that green, right where they down there, kind of where that uh that snail is. How long you been uh, messing with the soul with the tank? 30 years. 30. <laughs> 30. Salt water my specialty, man. I would say, so you was a shorty for me with the soul water. Yeah, I, been, I was a shorty. Yeah, like throw it in one of them pockets like that or something. But we'll kind of like see. Yeah, because you still got to give him room to grow. Yeah. They ain't going to stay, huh? What I like about this, you can just move it, move him at any time. Yeah, I like that. Because he going to, he going to, and he closed up right now too, huh? Mm -hmm. What's all that stuff on it? Just like film, protection coat, you know what I'm saying? Just from being in and out of water. Oh, okay. You think that's a good placement? That's good. They don't really need a lot of light. Oh, okay. That's a good beginner for them, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing. I love that one right you there. Really that thing look damn good. Yeah, man, so now we got all the new corals added. We just got to get more now because it still look bare bone. Yeah, it's going to look like that to you, you know what I'm saying? Until they start growing in. Yeah, it's still start bare bone. Off. You see a little shrimp back there chilling. Definitely can get a couple more of them. Well, I want right. to get more shit. trying to get more though. More fish, more coral. More coral, then <laughs> more fish. Yeah. It's better to I'm add more, the I'm more coral excited first. about doing coral than fish anyway. It's always better to add the fish last. You know what I'm saying? Once if you don't do coral, do your coral first then do your fish. Cause sometimes you'll get a fish that want to eat coral. But if you do your coral, if the coral is already there, they ain't gonna mess with something that's already been there. But if some brand new come into the environment, then yeah, nine out of 10 times they gonna pick one. For sure. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in the video right here, man. If you guys enjoyed today's content, man, make sure you guys hit this video a big like, man. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop these bangers. You feel me? And if not, I'm gone. I'll catch you guys in my next one.